Joining us now is James Donnelly, and we're going to be talking about Medicare. I don't know a thing about it. I'm not quite there yet, but I am someone that has a dad, and this matters to me, and I know that it might be mattering to your family as well. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing well, Donna. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I had the opportunity to hear the reason why you specialize in this now, or that you try to help people with this. Yes. Um, can you share that personal journey with us? Sure. Um, about seven years ago, um, I decided I was going to go into the insurance business. Um, I was uh, working with my family at the time in multiple businesses, and I really wanted to make a difference. I felt like empty. I was striving for something greater. And I was always a big proponent of life insurance and of insurance, and when I had young children, I, I purchased life insurance for them, and I used it as a tool. So I, was, I got my license, I worked for Northwestern Mutual. Uh, then my grandmother had an accident, and she fell. She broke her hip, she had to go to rehab. And when she went to the rehab center, they switched her plan. And my family called the insurance guy. I didn't know what Medicare was. I, re I knew when you're old, you get it. Right. So I reached out to a friend of mine who specializes in Medicare, he's in the Midwest, and he kind of walked me through it, and they really had no right switching her plan. But what had happened was um, the director of the rehabilitation center um, had a friend that was in the Medicare industry, and they switched her plan, and he got a commission, even though she was in the best possible plan that she should have been in. So when I found that out, I said, oh my God, Medicare is so confusing. Mm -hmm. He talked to me about Plan N, Plan G, Plan A, and, and you know, um, Medicare supplement. I said, there's so many different dynamics to this. How does the average person know anything about it? And I, I dove into it. I really, for a year, I dove into it. I learned all I could about Medicare. I got all my certifications, my federal, and then, um, so I have to get federally certified every year. Okay. And then every company that I work with, I have to, um, you know, take a course and take tests. So it's very involved. I spend the month of September recertifying for the year. James, one of the things I've noticed is that we're inundated with Medicare commercials. And, and that was another motivating factor for me. While watching my grandmother when she was home and bedridden, she still is, uh, there's, there's nothing but Medicare commercials on television. And you have all these trusting figures, J.J. Walker, Joe Namath. So people pick up the phone and they call because they're so confused about Medicare. But it's really a, a, a lead grab. They okay. grab your personal information. So while you're on the phone with the operator, they're transferring you to the highest bidder. So they, they're right now, they're, it's a live Medicare transfer. They're transferring you to the highest bidder. And then they're selling all of your personal information to every other agent or call center. Uh, and and that's no why, one knows that. Nobody knows that. And, and as of 2024, those commercials are illegal. They're not supposed to be the J.J. Walker, the Joe Namath commercials. And, I don't and know nothing if you've wrong seen with the people that no, are working nothing. as the talent. No, It's not their fault. No. It's the company behind it that's exactly. hiring them. Exactly. And, and what they would do is they transfer you to a call center overseas, and then you would be inundated with phone calls. They take your information, and they would enroll you in whatever, whatever plan you know, they, they thought was paying the most, let's just say. So long story short, I just got tired of it. Sitting there with my grandmother watching all these commercials, and I said, something has to change, something has to give. And what I did was I, I sat down with all of my clients who were 65 and older or approaching 65, and I said, this is what I do now. This is what I want to specialize in. I just want to walk you through your journey of Medicare, because it's a maze, it's very confusing. I, and I, yeah. and I, laugh, I laugh sometimes, too, when you give out that number, because um, I'm going to be uh, 59 in June. And a lot of people you are lie. like, say, no, I, <laughs> thank you. Um, no, a lot of times I, I forget that because I'm very youthful in my spirit. I feel like I'm 42. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, wow, I'll be 59. And that's, you know, so it's important, I think, to start learning about that, whether it's for yourself or for your parent mm -hmm. or someone that you love. So Medicare, what is Medicare, James? Let's just do a broad brush, because so, that's important too mm -hmm. before we wrap up. We gotta know, what is it? So Medicare is, is health insurance and okay. hospitalization for seniors over 65. Although you can have it on a rare occasion, if you're on dis permanent disability for two or more years, you are now eligible for Medicare. So I actually have clients that are 19 or in 27 because they're on Medicare. 
Um, you pay into it um, through your paycheck for your life. And part A is your hospitalization, which is free. And then part B is your medical, and it covers 80% um, of your medical costs. And then you have to kind of fill in the gap somehow because you have that 20%, mm -hmm. you have part A deductibles, and then in some instances you have an additional 15% of medical costs because doctors are allowed to charge a 15% excess like charge. Like an override. Like an override. <laughs> so uh, if you pick a doctor, can you go in there and ask them, are you gonna ask for an override? Before I mean, you, you engage you can, with your doctor, absolutely, you can absolutely. Okay. But the, the the supplement plans, the Medigap plans, you know, cover all those extra costs. So what I do is with my clients is I sit down, I make sure that all their doctors are in network, all their drugs are covered, and they have the lowest possible drug cost. Okay. But there's so many different avenues, and everybody thinks they're okay. You know, they 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 get on a plan N or a plan G, and then they think they're okay with their drug plan, their Part D, but Formularies change every year. Drug plans change every year. Okay. So you need a checkup then you need every a checkup. year. Exactly. So and that's you what we recommend, do. okay, James, I now I understand that. So what you mm -hmm. specialize in is looking at the plan, making sure it still fits. Correct. And you, because you've educated yourself each year mm -hmm. in September, kind of know what the latest and greatest tools are to get them the best use of that plan. Correct. Love it. It's great. Correct. I like you even more now that I know that you're helping people. Um, what's one first step that you would want people to take with you? So and are you licensed it just in New York? No, no, I'm, okay. I'm licensed across the country. Across the country. Across the so country. So everywhere that this show airs now, coast to coast, right, mm -hmm. they could pick up the phone and they could call Safe Haven and you'd be able to review the plan with them. Correct. Love that. Yes. Great. Yeah. They're calling now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have to answer the phone for you. Um, is there anything besides, is that a good first step though? Just that, get that, that review a, each year. That is a, a good first step. Okay. And seniors 65 and older are the highly most targeted demographic in the US. You're gonna get phone calls as soon as you're approaching 65. You're gonna get phone calls every year during AEP and OEP. That's a whole other program, those two acronyms. Uh, you're gonna get phone calls. Uh, don't answer the phone. Don't give out your personal information. I sat with a client two weeks ago. Her plane was switched or tried to switch five times since um, since October. Wow. Yeah. And so it's she better had dementia. they are proactive and they call you as Correct. opposed to just answering some random phone call. Correct. And she had dementia. She must have given her personal information out over the phone and they were able to switch it without even her knowing. So her, her daughter reached out to me. Lovely, lovely family. Um, so they're targeted. There's a lot of Medicare fraud and abuse going on out there. So sit down with me or another trusted Medicare advisor, somebody that you know or know of that you can trust. Uh, because these people that call you every day, they're not your friends and they're not, um, it's more transactional. I'm looking to cultivate relationships and sit down with you every year and, and make sure you're on the right plan. Well, I know that you're a good guy because I met your dad. So <laughs> the restaurant that your family owns. And uh, you, you come from, from a good, you know, a, a good family. Thank so you so much, It's, Donna. Ni it's nice that. to have you here. Uh, happy journeys to you and your family. And I hope this enlightened you a little bit more about what Medicare is and why we need to look at it every year. Thanks for watching.